We're here in Barony Woods, which is located outside of Port Royal, even though the MLS indicates that it might be inside Port Royal. It's not, uh, just for the record, but um, they have a teeny little pool over here, but a pool nonetheless um, for the, the residents. I have to figure out, these hardly ever come on the market, so I have to figure out the best route to the beach. Um, the community goes down here and dead ends. I'll take a drive down there in just a bit, but this, it's a duplex essentially. The, there's one one property here, and then this is the villa. It sits amongst these beautiful trees, has a lovely yard, and we're going to go on inside. It's it's really pretty, and we're located close to the entrance to Port Royal um, across from the fire station. I'll map it out for you. But let's have a look. We have, we come in the front door and you have this really pretty stacked stone wall which is just gorgeous. The kitchen to the left. Which has a good amount of cabinets little area in the front. I don't think with the refrigerator there, there's not really enough room for an actual table, but they do have this little piece of furniture. You have a pantry here, nice double pantry. If they allow gas, which I'll check the fireplace, you might be, this is on an outside wall, you might be able to bring gas a gas line in for cooking if you wanted to. Not a huge but still decent size dining area that leads into the living room. That's a uh, wood-burning fireplace so they may not have gas here. Um, but it's just lovely. It's just so pretty. And then out back have a nice golf view. Your n n one neighbor over here, but well, well uh, protected. You know, you, you have have a sense of privacy for sure. And then all of this, this leads out to the front. And this beautiful golf view. And you might be able to use this golf cart path to have access down to the beach, at least in the evenings. I'll, I'll kind of try and, try and figure all this out. I'll talk to the agent and find out where, where that goes and, and how, how to best access the beach. I'm sure there's, there's a relatively easy way to get there. So we come back through. I'll go upstairs first and then we'll look at the other side. So up here you have, this can be storage. It doesn't have a window, so, you know, exercise room, office, storage. have a nice size bedroom up upstairs. With a bath. Plenty of room for a king size bed up here. So really you could do you actually could do a nice nice king or queen up here. And let's have another look at this. You could probably do, you could get creative I think and do something fun with um, with a couple bed beds for kids in here. I think. I think somebody 
more creative than me could figure figure out how to get to get some sleeping space up there and then downstairs they have a nice office again you could make this a a bedroom you'd have to they have some really very lovely custom cabinetry in here but maybe you could put take this out and and I, you'd have to modify this which kind of seems a shame but like they keep their golf clubs in here it's really great storage but I'd hate to take all, all of this out because it really is great storage, but I, you, you might be able to, to do something. Heck, you might be able to have this rearranged a little bit and in the center have a Murphy bed, which I don't think would be very expensive. And then you have a half bath. Stone floors. Laundry and your hot water heater are here, stacked washer, full-size washer and dryer, and then this closes like that, so that you have a nice smooth look through the hallway. And then this is the master. And again, I think you could do a king-size bed in here easily. This has access out onto the patio. Wood floors, very pretty wood floors. But this, these are big pieces on either end, so you, you'd you have room to do a king and two, and, and just a little bit, you know, half the size on the nightstands. And then you have the view out there, but you have a nice wall also for more furniture. Double vanity with a nice top. Not the largest closet, but not too bad. And you have other options for closet space. So this is it. I, I think it's absolutely stunning, adorable, and really could be a great fit at $499,000. I'd probably offer a little bit more um, and I think that it, given what else is on the market and has been on the market, I think that it very well could be worth a little bit more. Thanks.